Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about binomial probability with at least and at most. It's very similar to yesterday's where we did the exact probability, but now we're going to add a few of them up together. So if you were in class yesterday, I talked about the calculator trick so that we didn't have to use that formula. And just a review, we would do binom pdf n comma p comma r. Now that binome PDF button is found second vars, which is right next to the stat button, second vars zero, and that's our shortcut for the formula. All right, so the only way we can do these problems is by example. So let's do example number one. It says a bag contains six red bingo chips, four blue bingo chips, and seven white. What is the probability of drawing a red bingo chip at least three out of the five times? Well, in order to do this problem, we first need to understand what the word at least means. So if I say you can go to the store and you could spend at least $30 on a pair of shoes, that's really bad for me to say because you could spend at least 30 that means 30 or more. You could spend 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So when I say at least three out of five, that would mean three, four, five. Okay, so let's use the binomial PDF. We need an N. What is the total? The total number of times that I'm drawing out of the bag is five. What is my P? What is my probability of, well, what are they asking? It says, what is the probability of drawing a red bingo chip? So what's the probability that you get red? Well, here it says that there are six red bingo chips out of a total of how many? Well, if we take six, four, and seven, we get 17. So the probability of getting one red bingo chip is six out of 17. And what is my R in this case? Well, my R is actually going to be at least three. So that means three, four, or five. So at least three means three, four, or five. So what this chart is here for the right is to help you understand how this would work. So we're going to add up the probabilities when r is equal to three, when r is equal to four, and when r is equal to five. And that's it. So that's the difference from yesterday to today. So what's going to go in for this first part where r is equal to three? So binome PDF what goes first? N. N is 5. I got it from over here. 5 is never going to change. That N is always the same. My probability, P, is 6 out of 17. That's not going to change either. The only thing that's going to change is my R. I'm going to put my R here in a different color. My R is 3. Now what would it be for the second column when R is 4? So, binome, PDF, 5, 6 out of 17. Now what's going to change? My R. My R is now 4. And then for my R to be 5 is binome PDF 5, 6 over 17, and then now 5. So what I would like you all to do right now is pause the video and put these three things into the calculator and put their results here, here, and here. Now, it says round the answer to the nearest 10,000th, so that is four decimal places. But to get a really accurate number, we're actually going to round higher. So what I want you to do for each one of these one, two, three spots, round them five decimal places, and then we'll round the final answer four. So I'm going to do that, and I'm pause the video, and we'll come up and meet at an answer. Okay, so I got for the first 0 0.18407, for the second 0 0.05020, for the third 0 0.00548. So if we add up all of the probabilities from R is 3 to R is 5, so that's what I'm going to put here, from 3 to 5, and we round that answer to the nearest four decimal places, we'll get 0.2397. And that is my final answer. So basically all we did was add up all three of those probabilities. Okay, let's try example number two. A family consists of three children. 
find the exact probability that at most two of the children are boys. So what is my n? Let's start there. Well, the family consists of three children, so that's my total. What is the probability that I would get a boy? What's the probability that I would have a boy? Well, you have a 50-50 chance. You're either going to have a boy or a girl. So the probability of getting a boy is one half. My R now, it says at most two of them are boys. So let's use an example. I say you can go to the store, but you can only spend at most $40 on a pair of shoes. So what that means is you can't spend any more than 40. Could you spend 40? Yes. Could you spend $0 on the pair of shoes? Yeah, at most 40 means I can only spend 40, but if I decide I don't like anything, I don't have to spend anything. So for the R, it's either zero children could be boys, one children could be a boy, or two children could be boys. So my R in this case is R equals zero, R equals one, and R equals two. So let's go ahead and set up our binomial PDFs. So binom PDF, my N in this case is three, my P is a half, and my R, we'll say the first one, is zero. Let's do the second one. Binom, PDF, N is three, P is a half, R is one. Binom, PDF, my R, my N is three, my P is a half, my R is now two. So notice how the R is changing. So the question is asking to find the exact probability. So from the other video from yesterday, what did we learn about exact probability? Exact means fraction. So what I would like you to do is put these three into the calculator, but now make them fractions. So pause the video and do that. Okay, so I got 1 over 8, 3 over 8, and 3 over 8. So now what we're going to do is we're going to total them all up. We're going to add up all the probabilities from r being 0 to r equals 2. So we're going to add all of those up. And you should get 7 out of 8. That's your probability. Okay, last example. Notice how in example number 3 I don't have a table for you. The table was there to set you up. So now that you know what to do for each problem. On the regents, they're not going to give you a table. So let's read what the problem says. Team A and B are playing in a league. They will play each other five times. If the probability that Team A wins a game is one-third, what is the probability that Team A will win at least three of the five games? Since the problem doesn't specify how to round, if I should leave it as a fraction or a decimal, let's do both. So what is my n? How many games do they play in total? Well, they say they play each other five times. What is my p? What is the probability that team A wins? Well, it tells you, one-third. And what is my r now? It's saying that the probability that team A wins at least three of the five means that they could win three games, four games, or five games. So my r is three, four, or five. So we're going to add up the probabilities for r being 3, r being 4, and r being 5. Okay, so when r is 3, let's do that one first. So binom pdf n is 5, p is 1 third, r is 3. Now we're going to do binom pdf of n being 5, p being 1 third, and r now being 4. And the last one, binome pdf of n being 5, p still being 1 third, and now my r is 5. So the easiest way to do this so that we can actually, like I said, want the decimal and the fraction, the easiest way is to do the fraction first. So why don't you go ahead, pause the video, get three fractions and find them and add them. And let's see if we get the same answers. Okay, for the first one, I got 40 over 243. The second one, I got 10 over 243. And the last one, I got 1 over 243. So when I added them up, I got 51 over 243. 
So that's the fraction answer. Easiest way now, put that in the calculator, get the decimal. So 0 0.2099 is what I got for the um, decimal. So I'd like you to try the back page, questions four and five for homework. If you have trouble, don't worry. We will go over questions four and five in the beginning of class tomorrow. All right, good luck.